Hey, what's up guys? I got up this morning and I wanted to do a little something different. I wanted to put some vegetables in my eggs, so I'm gonna scramble up some eggs with some green peppers and some onions that we got last night, throw them all in there, cook them up real quick, quick and easy. I'm not good at cooking, but this I can do. So I always mix up my eggs in a shaker cup and for egg whites I always do the liquid ones. I don't like picking them apart. So this says three large eggs is three quarters of a cup. Put that in there with my two whole eggs. So with the two whole eggs I've got about 10 or 12 grams of fat. There's really no fat coming from the white parts. So I've got three egg whites and two egg whites worth of whole eggs. So I got five egg whites. So I'm getting about 25, maybe 30 grams of protein all together. So now I just gotta shake this up real quick, throw it in there. While I'm doing that, I'll chop up the rest of this stuff, throw that in there, cook it all at the same time, it'll be done. So if you did this the night before, it would make it that much easier. And we've got regular eggs prepped in there, but last night we had a green pepper and some onions left over, so I figured I'd throw it in there. I got up real early, about 4.30 this morning, even on a Sunday, so I got some time. All right, so I got them all mixed up. Now, throw that in there. Hopefully this won't cook by the time I get this cut up enough. So normally when I'm prepping my food, I would do something real similar, but I would only cook about four times as much. That way I've got food for the next three or four days. But we already did that. I just wanted to try something a little different today. All right, quick and easy, quick and easy. So we bought some onions that were already cut up. It makes it even that much easier. When it comes to nutrition, the vegetables are pretty much free. Have as many vegetables, especially the green ones as you want. Get a little more green pepper. But like I said, I'm not a really good cook. I'm not a chef by any means. But this is as simple as it gets. I try and make all my prep as easy as possible. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. One thing that I found helps me a lot is having the right equipment. Never, ever, ever could I cook eggs before. We got a new set of pans, totally different experience. Same stove, same utensils, same spatula, new set of pans, it doesn't stick, it cooks right, cleans up easy. You gotta have the right tools for the job. Incredible how much of a big difference that makes. So we'll let that cook for a minute or two. All right, so while we got that going, I'm gonna need some carbs with this meal too. So I'm gonna do two slices of whole wheat toast. And I'll either do whole wheat, maybe Ezekiel bread, whole grain waffles, maybe one, one and a half of those. I'm trying to get around that 20, 25 grams of carbs, especially in the morning, I don't mind getting some carbs. And then throughout the day, the same thing. I just cut them out a little later. Maybe my last meal or two, I'll just do a source of protein in a green vegetable instead of adding in the extra carbs. So I know what you're thinking. I don't want to get up and have to do this every morning either. But that's why I was saying, prep it the night before. This is a little pan. If you've got a bigger pan, you could really easily cook three times the same amount, portion it out into Tupperware containers. And the next morning when you reheat scrambled eggs, it tastes just like you made them that morning. But that way, instead of taking four or five minutes to actually do it, which doesn't even take that long, it really only takes a minute and 10 seconds for me to warm it up in the microwave. All right, that's it. The eggs are about done. I'll set this off to the side, get something to put them in, 
And it's weird, I know, probably, but I eat 99% of my meals out of the Tupperware container. So even when I'm at home, sitting down eating, I still put it in a Tupperware container. Eating off a plate just doesn't feel right. All right, so the toast just came up. The eggs are done. And you can play with the consistency of eggs. You could do one whole egg, maybe two or three egg whites, if you, if you wanted to get rid of some fat. But the egg whites are really important because it's going to give you more, so it's going to fill you up to keep you fuller longer. But it's also going to give you that extra protein that you need. And you know, the protein is the hardest part to get because it's either going to come from meat, eggs, possibly a supplement. So the more protein you can get and the easier you can get it, the better. To add a little more protein and a little more fat, I'm going to put some shredded mozzarella cheese on it. Just about half a serving worth. And while it's still hot, the cheese is still going to melt, so I don't have to warm it up or put it in the microwave or anything. And what I do for the toast or for the carbs is I use spray butter. Not a lot in it, not a lot of calories, no carbs, no fat. Awesome. Adds a little flavor to it. Spray that on there. And there you go, that's my breakfast. What are you gonna have this morning? All right, so I got everything cleaned up. Got my breakfast done, got my first meal out of the way. I've got the rest of the food in the fridge, prepped and ready to go. Now I can start my day. But most of my day revolves around what I can do to help other people. So my big question is, what can I do to help you? What would make all of this, what would make this nutrition easier for you besides me cooking it all for you? And that's what Food for Fuel is for, if you need that done. But do you want somebody to come to your house and do it with you? Would that make it easier? Would it make it easier if you came to my house? What parts of prepping or what parts of cooking, what parts of nutrition can we work on to make it easier? Would it make it easier if we went to the store together? Comment below. Let me know what I can do to help you. Let me know what the team at Max P can do to help you. I'm here to help you in any way possible. So if we work together, we can make this a habit. If you need anything, like I said, comment below, give me some feedback, let me know what I can do to help. All right guys, check it out. 10 o'clock today in Roscoe, doing a big group workout. I'm gonna be there to lead the whole thing. So let's go have fun, let's burn some calories, let's get stronger, let's kick this Sunday off right. Bring your mom, bring your grandma, bring your neighbors, everyone you know, it's free, totally no cost, in Roscoe, at 10 o'clock. We'll see you there.